welcome back to easy spirit 101 i hope you guys are having a great day thank you for being here thank you for watching for those of you who saw the video i posted yesterday um i wasn't quite sure when the mercury retrograde starts it's april 1st so we're definitely like right around the corner from the next um mercury retrograde that's gonna last through a nice chunk of of April. So for those of you that resonated with that message yesterday, that could be something that's coming through this coming this coming month in April. Other than that, let's see what you guys need to know right now. What do you guys need to know right now? Okay, so I think some of you have been guided for towards a sort of a transformation within yourself, um, especially when it comes to matters of love and relationships. This can be any kind of relationships in your life. It doesn't just have to be a romantic partner. Um, and you've been guided to be more open to this with this receptivity card here. Some of you are being guided to be open to love because there's a great... There's a great, like, whoever's coming in next for you, allow yourself to receive. Whoever's coming in next for you, yeah, bright future. Some of you are afraid to open up to love again, or you're worried about having some sort of new connection. Um, whoever's coming in for you is definitely meant to be, and it's going to help you complete some sort of transformation you're already in the midst of so please be open to some sort of new relationship i feel like this arts card is significant towards this new relationship coming in towards you or towards the person coming towards you something very important about one or both of you being like a musician or maybe you do something um with the arts as far as like painting photography making something creating something there's something significant about this card here with this person coming in Yeah, some of you are in a kind of in a negative doubting space right now. Whatever this is about, or maybe in regards to your love life or in regards to relationships specifically, because that's what came out in the beginning, was not just um, like a love partnership, but relationships as far as uh, friendships, your relationships with your family members, something like this, like relationships as a whole. Some of you are in a kind of a negative space or you're worried, you're concerned, maybe that you're going to be left out or down and out, something like this here. This is why this is coming out. This is, this is what you need to do to overcome those feelings or that energy is just that you need a cleansing specifically of your mindset when it comes to something like that. Purification cleansing detox of your mind and your body but in this case i'm specifically getting someone who it's it's like your thought patterns it's about how you think and it's about how you feel about relationships yeah look at that a tower this tower is sideways um and towers don't always have to be big things sometimes it can be something with inside yourself like um, an idea or a, a thought pattern, a negative thought pattern you've been holding on to for a long period of time. You might be overcoming this because this is coming out near transformation um, as well as the Three of Cups, which again is very much about connection, joyful connections, friendships, and things like that. So this is part of what's going on for someone here. Hmm. The devil in reverse. 
I feel like this is someone that you come out of. Maybe this is why this is this is giving me like some sort of healing energy, um, some sort of. This could even be coming out as a tower because this mindset has been placed upon you by someone else. And someone else, I'm getting, I'm almost getting with this Nine of Swords that this person did a lot of projecting. This person in the hangman position has not come into some sort of awareness. They have not learned something. They have not come into some sort of enlightenment. Um, and then we have this devil. This person could even be stuck in a devil-like energy here. I also feel like, I don't know why, this is giving something like manipulation here. There's something about twisting this devil-like energy around and somehow this person, this person wanted you to believe something, believe their energy onto you or place their energy onto you. And this Nine of Swords is, this is this person. This person plays some sort of thoughts and feelings about connections and things this is something like you're having to heal from yeah you walked away from this you walked away from this person it's interesting because i'm getting i'm getting i said this was giving me some sort of like manipulation kind of energy this person with this energy here, the hanged man, the nine of swords, the devil in reverse, I'm getting a lot of like projection energy. And by that we mean this person has a lot of things they haven't figured out about themselves. Again, with the hangman in reverse, the hangman is in need of some sort of enlightenment that they can get themselves out of their own trap, that they're more wise than they thought they are, that they have the key themselves to the problem that they're in, especially with this nine of swords. This could have been a fire sign, it's a fire sign coming out here in this energy. This is, again, someone you walked away from. And then what I'm getting is, this was giving me like a manipulation kind of energy. And what it is, is like a manipulating, manipulating some sort of toxic energy here. When the devil comes out, it's very much deeper than just mind games. It's, it's something, it, it's the lowest of the lows. It's, it's, uh, intoxicating um sexual deviance it's it's not always those things depending in the context but something with this energy is actually the devil energy but something about the way it's being twisted is this person like projected all this stuff they projected their own agony this person lives in this nine of swords energy agony this person lives like trapped in some sort of dark like they succumb to their toxic behaviors. This is someone who deeply lacks spiritual strength. They they lack self control. They can't say no to the thing. They they don't choose themselves. Um, and so I'm getting something like a dark manipulation energy here coming right out next to you and your. It's I'm almost getting and you gotta bear with me because this is getting confusing. This is what this weird energy is. This is why you're having to work so hard to heal from something. Is because you're over here in the upright, like manifesting. You're manifesting in the upright how one would manifest. That can be as simply as, I had an idea. I want something to look a certain way and I worked towards it. I walked towards it. I moved towards it. I made magic happen in my own life. And somehow there's something like this person is doing the same thing, but they're doing it from like a devil like space. They're doing it from like a dark, toxic space. And somehow your energy or you got caught up with this person. This is what's coming through. This is why you're having to heal. So it might have been difficult. Yeah, because this is your energy again, the Ace of Wands. The work you've done is bringing you in some sort of victory and passionate new beginning. And I feel like it's your entanglement with whoever this past person is. I'm going to assume it's a past person 
just because this person has not reached some sort of conclusion. They have not made sense of something they need to make sense of. And they still reside in this Nine of Swords energy. Which I'm very much the strong message here was this got placed onto you somehow. And you're having to heal from it. But again, it's very obvious you walked away. However, you're stuck with this like residual energy that someone put on you. Or again, manipulated on you somehow. You could also be um, fire sign. It doesn't have to be. I have fire sign and earth sign here. Yeah, you're walking into this victory. But there's something I think this is really just saying because this is coming out sideways. Towers hurt much more when you're unaware of them and you're not looking at them and you're not trying to move towards something here. Um, this could be a warning for some of you. Again, there is a need to like detox. I am really getting that this is, this is why this little past information came out. This detox information or energy is something you're coming out from, something you're recovering from and you may not even realize that it's it's because of what it's because of your entanglement with this past person but you're moving towards a blessing so definitely i feel like there's a need for you to not be so hard on yourself there's something very much about this detoxifying what's going on in your mind Again, this is giving me some sort of heavy manipulation energy. Someone may have, excuse me, been projecting, projecting their own difficulties and dark stuff onto you and onto your life for a very long time. Yeah, balance and rest. There's, This is what's needing to happen. And I think this is kind of a message of encouragement for you. Your spirit team wants you to know that you are walking towards some sort of major victory. With the Six of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. And it might be best, it might help you to be able to stay at peace because there's something about rest here. There's something about redirecting what's going on in your mind, the difficulty that's going on in your mind. Someone could even have some like tension. You're having tension mentally about where you've come from and where you're going. And this message of encouragement is coming out to let you know that this is what you're moving towards. You're the queen of pentacles here. You have enough that you 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 can be generous with others with the six of pentacles. This is also my karmic karmic balancing thing here. So you may be even receiving some sort of gift for this difficult situation that you have overcome. As well as the four of wands. I mean, these are some of like the happiest, most positive. These are... This is like a blessing coming in here. I just heard a lyric from a song like ease, ease my troubled mind or ease your troubled mind. I don't think the whole song is like context for this, but just something about ease your troubled mind. Yeah, I feel like whoever you are, you need to understand that why you feel this way is warranted. You might not even realize that this happened to you. This is almost giving me, you know, we don't like to throw that word around very often, but um, some people carry like narcissistic traits and they, it's like gaslighting or whatever. It's very much a mental manipulation. It's very much, I did this thing and then I turn around and said you did it to make you take the fall or to make you feel some kind of way um to keep you in the dark someone might have been doing this because they were doing some whatever 
obviously you know whatever it is with this walk away energy here someone might have been doing this to you to um keep you confused about some shady shady shysty stuff that they were doing in the dark this is how they kept you confused they kept you feeling this is like i don't know the proper word for it but it's it's like narc narc tactic mental abuse it's it's something to like play play abuse and keep you stuck in the dark about something so this is why you're in need of this healing and it is coming i feel like some of you uh maybe being too hard on yourself that's coming through strongly you're being too hard on yourself like you're even still blaming yourself for i just saw 16 16 as i said that some of you are still blaming yourself for some sort of mental abuse that a past partner put on you they put that in your they put that on you and now you're like trying to figure out what's right and what's not right so spirit really wants you to yeah harmony in reverse and this is like mental confusion into indecisiveness um somebody put this on you deliberately so you wouldn't know that they were like in this kind of energy in a devil's energy they wanted you to think you did it this very much was coming out with this person in this hanged man nine of swords they want you to think you did it someone here could actually have some sort of actual problem there and they may they may literally think that everything is your fault but that's that's another story again the reminder here for you divine collective who's come out of this um clearly like a mentally abusive situation is that it was not your fault and it was kind of like a game or a scam and um someone here is being too hard on yourself that's why they want to reassure you this might help you rebalance your mind into a restful place as if you know and you're reassured you may have already seen signs that you know that this is coming for you this six of pentacles this four of wands this six of wands this victory victory in home love finances they want you to stay focused on that staying focused and knowing that could help ease um ease what your healing that you need to do and i'll get you some advice here in a minute maybe there's some more advice about um certain things you could do here to help cleanse what's going on yeah that's interesting that's like six of pentacles in the upright six of pentacles that's funny you have six of pentacles in the upright coming out and this person is sitting here i'm telling y'all this is my card of like karma karma six of pentacles is very much my card of karma six of pentacles in reverse just came out on this person here on this person's energy um, this person could even be still sending you some sort of like energy like this. Like they're still doing this and you aren't even connected to this person. That could be also creating tension, some sort of mental um, tension. I'm really getting like unrest, unrest or like you don't feel relaxed. You feel something. They want you to stay focused on this victory you have because, again, you have karma in the upright and this person has karma in the reverse. Yeah, coming out next to scarcity, this person may be specifically feeling karma through their finances for what they've done. This is a this was a lesson. Of course, it's a lesson. This also has to do something to do with doing the work. You did some sort of work in a situation and this person did not. And they may even be telling everyone or telling themselves that they did, but they're coming out as the hangman here. They didn't reach, they didn't learn something. 
they didn't learn this lesson. You may have been in a major karmic lesson with this person. And this lesson could have been specifically to do around confidence. Maybe you learned what you needed to do to stand in your confidence and this person didn't do it. Yeah, about being practical and self-reliant. You may be very practical and self-reliant. You are coming out as the um, queen, queen of pentacles. So this person's like mad here. I just saw cunning. Cunning deceit. That's what we were talking about. I just saw rust again a bunch of stuff fell i'm not going to put it all out but cunning this is this person's skill set is to like deceive people this is part of the problem this person may have um a capricorn placement but it came out in the reverse so they're like capricorn the skills that they have as being a capricorn are not utilized effectively or appropriately uh, let's see. What else do you need to know? What else does Divine Collective need to know about this? So hang in there and know that you are, this is your victory. If you're not feeling it now, yeah, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. This again, we're talking a lot about balance that's going on, about how you feel about the harmony you're feeling right now. I feel like you need to understand that whatever it is you're worried about or upset about, this could just, again, still be this person's projection on you. This person's, like, very angry because they're struggling and they think you're not struggling. This is what we're talking about. This is this cleansing here. They want you to stay focused. They want you to stay focused on this blessing. And they need you to know here a year from now in reverse. This is not even going to be an entire year. Like your blessing is coming in soon. Your blessing is coming in soon. So there's no need to be upset. Whatever you're worried about here. That's, that's what they're saying let go of. You don't need to worry because... Again, the most important thing here is this is one of these circumstances where you went through a major karmic lesson with someone and the cycle is closed and we've already all mentioned many times um, this year is a year of like a strong year of dishing out karma for whatever reason, maybe just because it is an eight, eight is infinity um, and very much we have you with the karma in the upright. And this person is getting negative karma for what they did. They're in, they're in the negative. You don't need to worry. It's like this person keeps putting their problems and their BS and all this stuff on you. They're saying it's you. It's, they might even be believing it's you and this person probably really need some sort of help or something this person here keeps putting some stuff on you and it's you're still confused from like whatever this mental abuse is your blessings i'm getting you don't know that they're coming or you can't tell that they're coming something like that they're on their way like not even a year from now they want you to stay positive staying positive is going to help ease the tension you're feeling yeah, it's up to you. They need you to try and stay. They need you to try and stay positive. They need you to stay focused. I'm getting whoever you are. You already know these blessings are coming in for you. Like you just already know. You already know that you're on the right side of justice. That they've told you several times there's nothing to worry about. All these things. And now they just need you to kind of like cheer up a bit <laughs> this this could this is why this is happening i think this this is this person this person is yelling no you may even end up having to forgive someone or verbalize forgive forgiveness 
towards someone over this next coming Mercury retrograde. And this person, I saw the, um, when these cards fell out earlier, I saw the Mars conflict energy. Like this person just wants to fight. I don't know if this is what this person does in their family. They like pick someone to take the fall for them or something. They pick someone to focus on to blame. This person always needs someone to blame. And right now you like fit the build. Yeah, communicate clearly in reverse. I don't know why I'm getting someone here may actually verbalize forgiveness to this person. And this person's gonna even tell you f you don't sit here and forgive me this person wants to fight um isn't that part of what came out yesterday <laughs> so again you don't need to worry about that you need to focus on what can you do to put your mind at peace because there's no i just saw forgive again and i feel like there's something here. I see it again. There's something about this person. This person you're dealing with has some sort of um, non-typical Pisces placement. It's like a weird Pisces placement. I've seen this before. That someone, You can have a Pisces placement in a place where it doesn't belong. And it will make you <laughs> like not take action when you need to take action or something. Maybe this person doesn't realize this, but there's something about someone having like weird Pisces placement. And I honestly, this is going to come really weird, but it's it's really for the whoever this person is who created this mess. This is like a mental conflict mess, an emotional mess. And, it, and really, it's like this person... This person honestly probably needs to be mad at themselves for a little bit. Um, and I mean for a little bit because you do go through that. You go through that from time to time that you look at your own mistakes. You look where you could have done something different. Um, and sometimes it helps you grow. You don't stay in that energy. The, the ideal energy you're looking for is when you don't blame anyone. Everything happened perfectly. Everything happened the way it was meant to happen. And it's usually to teach you a lesson. If this person is struggling in some sort of capacity, again, there's a lesson behind it. that They still have not learned what that hangman is that hanged man in reverse but let me see some final messages here for divine collective what you need to know about what's going on here what's going on with this this energy yeah reflect on your priorities this could even be for this person maybe this person needs to do this i don't know why i'm getting that there's something about this person is like doing the opposite of what you are doing and they are mad at you for it. I know it, just even saying it, it feels like one giant mind game. This person, anyways, um, <laughs> your priority right now though is to, to find peace in your mind. There's no reason not to. That's what I'm getting. There's no reason not to because even if you feel like you can't, You've seen the signs and you know this is coming for you. You know this four of wands and the victory and all these things are coming for you. You can feel it. You've seen it. You've heard it a thousand times. You're convinced. I know this is my message. But there's like something that you haven't seen um, manifest into the 3D yet. Which is probably like working on your ability to stay positive. That's part of the trick it's it's like law of attraction kind of trick thing they need you to be at rest now to help manifest this they need you to be at peace so you can align with it and that's part of how that works is this blessing coming in how is it supposed to make you feel it's supposed to make you feel at peace like there's no need to worry everything's fine now everything got sorted out everything i lost was returned to me and then some and i got a blessing and now i'm over the moon you're at peace you're at rest and that's how you align with this thing coming towards you that is meant to give you those feelings so it's very important somehow to ease your troubled mind. I know the, the song is like not really that context. And I think it actually says ease my troubled mind. But still, 
I keep hearing it. Ease your troubled mind. And this is supposed to, what's coming in is going to ease your troubled mind and help finish up some sort of transformation or healing that you're meant to have. But there's a, a your priority right now is to align with this. Align with this. You have to align with it by putting, being positive and putting your worries and your tension and whatever this is you're carrying um, left over from all this mental confusion, self doubt, anger, anything, anything here. Somehow you're going to have to find a way to put it at rest. What can the collective do? What, what can they do? What will help them put their mind? What can they practice? practice some of you just go outside like some of you just going outside but here there's their answer please know that you are loved they reflect on this is me bringing this message through to you this is part of why i'm here your spirit their your spirit team is got their eyes heavily hawks someone has been seeing hawks a lot that's why you've been seeing hawks they're saying it's us. We have our eyes. We're like eyes like hawks on this situation. They've, they've been sending you signs. Unleash your kindest self. They want you to be kind to yourself. They say, we can't really do it for you. There's an element of you got to kind of maintain it. But we keep trying to send you signs and know that you're okay. And know that you're safe. And yeah, protection. Oh my God. Protection. Know that you are safe. Um this coming out focus on your business you may be you may be an entrepreneur you may be self-employed or maybe you're meant to maybe that's something you're meant to work on know that what you're working on is also protected but the major energy here is that you are really safe they are the ones who's been watching watching this situation like a hawk or watching whoever this person is who's been putting this stuff on you they're watching this person like a hawk they want you to know that you're okay. They love you so much. They, they, you're completely okay. It's weird because the, the um, air, like the energy in here just got so still and calm. Like they're all here giving you a big giant hug. Like I'm about to cry and I don't cry very much. So you know that you are loved and you are safer than you realize or whatever this is that's upsetting you they do need you to put a little bit effort but they're hoping that this reminder here will give you a reason that you you can do this you can do this because they really need you to align with your blessing by sitting in how this blessing is going to make you feel i just saw 33 17 so that is for someone this is the end of this reading. I hope this message helped someone out here, um, one or many. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed 3333. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading and I'll see you again next time.